So question 16 then from paper 2. The last question in paper 2 of the 2016 National 5 exam. Here we go. A little triangles question. Looks like a scalene triangle. Also looks a bit like a similar triangle. So have a look in a minute. There's a lot of information here, but that's all in the diagram. Calculate the length of BC. Give me your answer to one decimal place. So it does have the appearance of similar triangles with those split portions of the sides, but they're obviously not equiangular because that's got a right angle and that's not. The next thing you think of is two adjacent sides. To find the third side, that would be the cosine rule if I knew that angle. And there, that little triangle there is there simply so you can find that angle. In this little triangle, since it's right angled, you can use simple trigonometry rather than scaling trigonometry to find this one. And those two sides give the cosine. That means this is a little trick then, isn't it? Because in triangle ADE, if I call that just angle A, those two sides would give the cosine of A. I can say the cosine of A equals 3 upon 4. Whereupon, I don't even need to work out the angle A, because to work out BC, I'm going to use the cosine rule. <clears throat> and, I don't know if this is another little bit of their jest, that's exactly the configuration for the formula you get at the front. If you were to write down the cosine rule, you would write this down, looking at the front. A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. And usually the triangle you've got doesn't have those letters, or they're in a different order, or there's no letters at all. But that side that you want is side A. And this cos A that you want just is staring at you. What's that called again? Hiding in plain view. So that means I can work out BC straight away now, so that I've got A squared equals... So, that side is 10. Well, I'll stick with this. I'll, work, I'll go along with you in this then. B is actually this side here. So, 6 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 6 times 10, times the cosine of A, which is 3 quarters. Should have marked that little angle in there. So let's just rattle that through. And that comes to 46. Not that you needed to rattle it through, because that 4 will divide in, will disappear in dividing into those two to make them a 3 and a 5. And that 2 will reconstitute that 5 back into a 10 again. And then the 3 and the 9, 3 will make a 9, so that's a 90. A 90 to come off of the 136, which is 46. But it'll be sitting there anyway. Which means that A is going to be the square root of 46. Now I'll need you. So, square root answer equals, yes, root 4. That's that wee button, eh? That wee button. Useful sometimes. And it did say to one decimal place, so 6.8, and it's all in centimetres, centimetres, and I'll give A back its name again, that was the length of BC. Of course, if you did go ahead and work out that angle and then put it in here, then that angle would have been inverse cos of three quarters, inverse cos of three quarters, that would have been 41.4 degrees, just as a matter of interest. But if you used that, you should have found what well, you wouldn't have found because it would have been hidden inside the gubbins of your calculator when you pressed these buttons. <laughs>